So I'm setting up new arms on my Electro Hub. I'm converting from the wooden dowel type of arms to aluminum tubing, which is three quarter inch by three quarter inch hollow tubing, because the wooden dowels are way too fragile and break whenever you have a hard landing. But I wanted to see how balanced these motors are. So I have a motor hooked up to my ESC, and I have my ESC hooked up to a servo tester, so I can plug in the battery, and then with the press of one button I can have my motor running at 50%. I have manual control over it so I can go max throttle or sweep. But I have this uh, foam window seal on each one of my legs here to pad the uh, vibration so it can move, so the frame can move freely. I also have some double-sided tape to stick my phone to. So I stick my phone onto the arm with the double-sided tape and start the Vibe Sensor app that is downloadable from Google Play. Switch the duration to 10 seconds. Power on my motor. Set the servo tester to neutral. This starts the motor. Then I click start. And don't touch the table or sneeze or breathe on it or fart on it because it'll vibrate. Then it'll run through its 10 second countdown. Then you can view the data by clicking view data right here. Click on the date that you did it and at the time. And you can see the data. It's a little crooked here. I don't know if my Mobius can pick this up. But you see the vibrations the number of points that it uh, gathered, the time, click on the tilt, which tells you how much your phone is vibrating back and forth, which it, it really didn't register much tilt. You can get the vibration. But well, I go off of the peak raw, the X, Y, I'm not too concerned about the Z going up and down, and the ISD, the X, Y, and then the resonant frequencies, the lower these numbers, the better off you are. So this reading is with the label left on the motors. I will take the label off of the motor and see how balanced this is. So now I have the label and all the glue and stickiness taken off of this motor. And I'll see whether the balance is better or worse without that label. On the data run on the left is the one with the label. On the data run on the right is the one without the label and the glue on the motor. You can see that there's substantially less vibration when the label has been removed and the glue has been removed from the motor. The peak raw on the X and Y are lower. So I'm going to take a pen and make a mark on here and this will be the starting point. For what I'm about to do. I read on the flight test forums where you can use a zip tie to help balance your motors. Put the zip tie on there, move it up to the mark that I made. This will be the zero position. So I have a zip tie around the motor to help determine which side of this is still unbalanced. You can see that the y-axis is way off due to the unbalanced motor. You can even hear it in the motor. And the x-axis is a little wacky too. So now I'll line it up with this mark that I put on there. I don't know if you can see that. It's black on black. 
but I'll move it to the 90 degree angle and rerun the vibration sensor. Then I'll move it to the 180 degree position and rerun the vibration sensor. And then move this to the 270 degree position. So you see that the zero position has the lowest vibration on the peak raw X and Y. The ISD is pretty much the same between the zero degrees and 90 degrees. The resonance on the zero degrees is less than the 90, the 180, and the 270. I will put the zip tie at the 45 degree angle and, and compare that with the zero and the 90 and see if that's any difference. So now I have the zip tie at about a 45 degree angles off this mark that I made and I'll rerun the vibration sensor. On the 45 degree vibration test you can see that the peak raw X is lower than the zero and the 90 degree but on the Z it's higher. That's probably because I moved the zip tie up towards the top of the motor rather than towards the bottom. So that might have thrown the balance of the motor off on the up and down axis. But the ISD on the X is lower though the ISD on the Y is about the same. The resonance is lower on the X and it's actually went up on the Y. So I'd put a piece of vinyl tape somewhere between zero and 45 degrees to see if that lessens the vibrations even more. So I cut a small piece of electrical tape and I will line it up about the between the 45 degree and the zero degree. Make sure your motor is clean so that the tape sticks. Now I'll rerun the vibration test with the small bit of vinyl tape on it. After putting a small piece of vinyl tape on the side of the motor and rerunning the test, you can clearly see that the peak raw X is lower, the Y is lower, the ISD X and Y are lower, and the resonance is substantially lower and you can see on this graph here that the x and y axis vibration is almost non-existent i mean this is like to the power of five or negative five that it's registering so that's a huge improvement over what it was with the label